Good evening. This would be my build on the breadboard of uh, pure sine wave inverter with PWM pulse width modulation. It's designed by Mr. Sogatam Majumdar. He has a blog that he calls Homemade Circuits Just For You. And uh, I have it, well I guess I have it on two breadboards. I've separated out the MOSFETs over here uh, because the MOSFETs draw a little bit more power and melt the breadboard if I get too much stress testing going on. Here I have it uh, connected to a uh, 13 watt CFL. And it's equivalent to a 60 watt uh, incandescent. Uh, takes 13 watts, saves you 200 bucks a year over in a regular incandescent. So it's the equivalent of a 60 watt uh, incandescent. I've got it hooked up to a 12-0-12 4 amp tran uh, transformer. I, his specs call for uh, an ammeter between pins, uh, between IC1 and IC2, pins 2 and 3. Um, but I have this digital am ammeter. This would be analog. This would be my digital ammeter. I have this digital ammeter connected up to the rails, the positive and negative rails, so you can see the voltage uh, at any point. Um, I've added a couple things here. I've got an SCR. It's because his um, schematic for the Zener has two different. He's got two different two zeners on his um, schematic. Uh, one of them is in like a European format. Got me thinking about SCR, so I thought I'd test the SCR out. That's a silicon controlled rectifier. Uh, I thought I'd test it out, see if it would preserve, help preserve my transistor. So basically I've got this just passing through the positive through the zener at this point. There's another zener off to the edge of the schematic, if you look at his schematics, he's got one in European, this zener in European format, and this zener in like standard US format. Pictograph, I believe, it's hard to read the uh, settings for those, but I believe both of those are 2.7 volt zeners. Uh, it says in the text that this one at D1 is a 2.7 volt. The schematic looks like a 27 volt zener for this one up in the corner, but uh, he also has the equivalent uh, resistor connected to uh, those 2.2k resistors. You can see that the resistors are also in a different format. So I'm guessing that this should be a 2.7 and this should be a 2.7 even though it looks like this one is a 27 and the text says this is definitely a 2.7 volt zener so quarter watt each I've tested both it works with both uh, thinking uh, actually should be 2.7 there 2.7 there is zener there I've also added a uh, capacitor here for PFETs uh, I noticed that I've tried this out with the IRF P150. Specs call for an IRF 150. IRF 150s are difficult to get. I think uh, the only place I saw them with, were in England, sold in England. Uh, so I had tested with IRF P150 and I've added this capacitor here just to uh, help me smooth out these, these spikes uh, when changing from a um, PFET to an MFET. Uh, specs call for IRF 150. 
he also says uh, RF3205 will work over here on my MOSFETs I'm using in this test 3205s I got four uh, hooked up that's two more than the uh, schematic calls for um, so I've got a, two extra ones there I've tested these up to uh, powering up a 250 watt heat lamp and it will deliver some power and uh, at that rate that much power will be too much for these AA batteries and it will melt uh, also melt your breadboard if you start going over 100 uh, by default at 100 watt uh, design uh, if you're using AA batteries like I am for my test work they will start melting if you get over say 20 uh, 20 amps or 20 uh, volts when you're testing so that's basically the setup I'll, I'll give a close-up a little bit later I just want to show you how it worked and a little bit about the uh, frequency uh, so you're working uh, light bulb here and this one works just fine you can see that the little meter is showing uh, 10 volts uh, and 0 amps my little uh, analog amp meter showing nothing uh, and I'll hook up the uh, frequency here and Show the frequency uh, from my little multimeter. Just a second. Okay, I put the uh, multimeter in front here, just so you can view the display. I'll set it on uh, hertz, so you can see the frequency on this thing. It's got a very nice frequency adjustment from this uh, potentiometer here. Nice setting. You can lock that in for a variety of loads which is very nice and I'll turn on the light and we'll see that I've set up to 120 here in the US we are, we are at 60 Hertz what he has is a phased uh, PWM sine wave inverter which means um, he has asked for you to set it for double your area so on a Europe you'd have like 50 Hertz or something and you would double that to 100 or 55 you double to 110 for us in the US that's 60 doubled so I've set my frequency to about 120 I'll show you that with this display and let's get the display going turn the light on And let me try that uh, on blocking the light. And hopefully you can see that. It's a, give me a reading of uh, 19.5 now with the uh, light on. I can turn off the overhead light if you'd like to see what that looks like.
I have the light blocked at the moment, so I'm getting good light here from it. It's a decent light, but equivalent of a 60 watt incandescent again. And there you have it. Uh, the uh, 100 watt sine wave PWM controlled inverter by Sorgatum Jumdar. I have it on a breadboard here. And have fun building it. I forgot to mention uh, I have this, I'm building this on a perf board prototype. Um, this would be the layout. This is what it looks like right now. I'm going to separate out the uh, MOSFETs right now. I'm missing uh, my voltage regulator and my capacitor. Yes, this would be a 7808 voltage regulator. I'm using that for the breadboard just so I can preserve the parts a little bit better. I'm also missing the uh, capacitor down here and the potentiometers. MOSFETs I'll put off, separate off onto a different breadboard or a different uh, perf board, excuse me, and uh, I'll figure out uh, how to set up my uh, ammeters uh, later. Uh, basically there is a difference between the uh, analog and the uh, digital. The analog will by default, this particular ammeter will by default pull about 4 ohms resistance. This is the digital. It won't do the same behavior as a, an analog. So I have two different types there. One just to see if it uh, correctly uh, measures when I get into the stress testing phase. Have uh, the perf board. This is what it looks like. I have my SCR that I've added. It's not in the schematics, but I just added it for my testing. And this is a layout of the same uh, capacitors that I have. For this one, I've added uh, terminal blocks so I can uh, swap in the, the resistor and the capacitor that's used to modify the frequency. Uh, so if you swap out a different uh, capacitor, you can get a different setting for frequency on your resistance and capacitor. Um, on the reverse, Looks like about like a rat's nest. Um, I've got little uh, finger like uh, wires coming off of each of the integrated circuits. So that's just to help me visualize where the connections should go. All the wires on the, on the back, I'll have my negative uh, rail here. My positive rail here. Uh, actually, correction, I don't have a rail yet, so this will be a wire. Positive wire here and a positive negative wire here. So we that will go in the reverse. Um, so here you can see I have my NE555 here. 7555, 7555, and a 4047 here. So I have my 548 transistor here. 557, 557 here. Still have yet to connect my uh, capacitor and potentiometers and my capacitor here and my resistor here. So missing that uh, electrolytic capacitor in the bottom corner here. Haven't done the switching yet and I'll have my uh, MOSFETs off to a different separate board simply because of the current dry, draw will require thicker wires and of course I'll be using a, for my stress testing I'll be using a heavier uh, battery also uh, I'm going to add a thermal controlled uh, fan 
which uh, if you watch the YouTube from uh, Electronics and More, they have uh, he's got a, a thermal controlled fan. Afro Technoids has a little MOSFET driven polarity check. Also on the uh, Electronics and More video of his uh, of his modified sine wave, he's got a an inrush protection on his circuit. Probably add that as well. And that'll be it for now. Just wanted to show you where I'm at on the perf board, what it looks like on a breadboard, and have fun uh, building it. See you later.